Uh, so unbelievable guys it's gotten really bad unbelievable numbers look at the self euthanization in canada they're murdering people at five percent of all deaths in canada are self euthanization this is 2021 number and it's been increasing every single year in the first year it was a little over a thousand resist received assisted death a number that has grown every year since in 2021 the most recent figures available there were 10,064 made cases, accounting to, for 3.3% of all deaths in Canada. All deaths in Canada for 2021, almost 5% of them were self-assisted suicides. So this is, this is getting really exasperated, right? Every year is exasperated. So now my friend here, uh, Amity, we're going to talk about the case that they found which you, you, you would think that people are killing themselves, self-euthanization. You know, Canada is such a progressive state. You guys left religion, uh, completely secular. You know, religion is a regressive uh, operation, right? Being religious makes you regressive, right? But so you're prog in, your, in, your, in your pursuit of progress, now you claim that self-euthanization can help propel the, the future of humanity forwards, right? But I'm, I'm going to prove to you guys that that's a fake falsehood, guys. How can you kill yourself to, 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 to victory? That's not going to happen, guys. It's almost what the Nazis have done. G great point, Schlotsky. Literally, the Nazis would be very, very happy with the self-euthanization laws and how they're getting abused in Canada, guys. Look at this most recent study or most recent case I've ju we just looked into. Experts troubled by Canada's self-euthanization law disturbing this guy listed as the only reason for him to self-euthanize himself was that hearing loss. That was it. That was his only condition and he was approved of it. And we're going to talk about the story really, really quickly. Alan Nicholas had a history of depression and other medical uh, issues, but none were life-threatening. When the 61-year-old Canadian was hospitalized in June 2019 over fears he might be suicidal... He asked, his he asked his brother to bust him out as soon as possible. Within a month, Nicholas submitted a request to be euthanized and he was killed, despite the concerns raised by his family and nurse practitioner. His application for euthanasia listed only one health condition as the reason for the request to die, hearing loss. Nicholas' family reported the case to the police and health authorities, arguing that the lack that he lacked the capacity to understand the process and he and was not suffering unbearably. Among the requirements for euthanasia, they say he was not taking needed medication, wasn't using the cochlear implant that helped him hear, and that hospital staffers improperly helped him request euthanasia. So as a progressive country, what do you feel like when you hear the story of your fellow citizen murdered by a predatory Predatory nurse practitioners, uh, predatory nurses, predatory staff. We're going to continue talking about this, guys, but this is really clear that he did not have to die. Usually, the stories that I'm looking at, ovarian cancer, um, lung disease, uh, stage 4, donzo, uh, this one was literally no issues whatsoever. He's just a little bit crazy. And only listed hearing loss, which he had an aid for it. He had an aid, he was just not using it to help him hear. Of course, you lose your hearing when you get older, guys. This is not a... <laughs> Unless you're Nazi, this is not a reason to be murdered. Because I know the Nazis love to kill old people. Disability experts say the story is not unique in Canada. This is so scary, guys. This is your progressive state which arguably has the world's most permissive euthanization rules, allowing people with serious disabilities to choose to be killed in the absence of any other medical issue. Ah, that's crazy. Many Canadians support euthanasia and advocacy group. Of course, many Canadians support trans and being, being, and being gay and cutting your dick off. Of course, they support this shit too. Dying with dignity, oh my god, there is no way that that's their name. This is such a joke. Literally, if I was to make a comedy skit, I would call the name of the company that kills people dying with dignity, LLC. Literally, if I was, if I was a stand-up comedian, I would call it that. This is not a joke, guys. This is real life. Real life is much fucking crazier than a joke. It's crazy. 
By the way, I knew that person firsthand. Like I had a convo with him IRL. Are you kidding me? So my viewers are telling me they had a conversation with this guy. How was he? Tell me about him. Tell me a little bit about him. Was he a little bit crazy? Did he speak well? Did he speak okay? Like, uh, what, did you feel like he's a little bit off? Was he schizophrenic? Tell me a little bit more, but let's go ahead and continue. Human rights advocates say the country's regulations lack necessary safeguards. They value the lives of disabled people. That's 100% true. And are prompting doctors and health workers to suggest a procedure to those who might not otherwise consider it. We have a story that we broke out. A girl's on welfare and the state pushed her with the help of the staffers to self-euthanize so they don't have to help her find new housing because she can't afford rent. It's, it's getting really bad, guys. Equally troubling advocates say are instances in which people have sought to be killed because they weren't getting adequate government support to live. That's literally the story we just looked at and I just explained to you. Literally, she decides to murder herself because she has cerebral palsy and the welfare will not does not raise up to the rent prices and she doesn't have she's too stressed to go look for another apartment so she just ended up killing herself cuz she's on a wheelchair bound it's it's it, i cannot make this shit up this is real life in canada today euthanasia cannot be the fault for canada's failure to fulfill its human rights obligation well it's it's turning to be with uh with like i said over 10,000 cases in 2021 Starting just a little bit over a thousand, like four years before, now at 10,000, accounting for almost 5% of the deaths. I would bet you today in 2024, they are at 5%. And with it, by 2020, 2030, we're going to get to 10% of all deaths are self euthanization in Canada. And cannot wait till this gets to America so we can get rid of our homeless population. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Nazis, crazy Nazis, crazy Nazis. Amity says he was a nice and couldn't hear well. Uh, he, he just wanted to talk to people, very friendly, usually all the older folks are. I didn't know him on a personal level, just actually had a convo with him in passing. Since it's my line of work, he didn't need to die. So the guy was completely coherent. He wasn't in pain. He could have lived longer. He had no, he had things to live for. I'm sure besides his, him losing his hearing, I, I get it. I get it. If I was blind, I would, I would feel the same way, you know, like being blind is a big, big fear for me. But uh, still, I don't think I would have murdered myself. I think I would have just figured it out. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? I think so. Plus, it would be nice to live on the disability at some point. So I'm just saying I would have found a, a, a way to, to, to feel good about it instead of just murder myself. But not in Canada, they will not allow you to do so. Interested in your opinions, guys. What do you think about the self euthanization? I've, man, I have to cover this because you guys, uh, you progressives, <laughs> you will never look at this case, and uh, it's it's very scary. It's getting really bad. It's gonna account to five percent. It's already accounting five percent. I bet you already accounting for five percent of self of all of deaths in Canada are self euthanization deaths. So we need to be weary. You need to be worried. Be careful what your mom is doing in the hospital. Go check on your parents now if you're in Canada. And if you're in America, by 2030, get ready. This is going to happen in America by 2030. Be ready for it. And take care of your parents, man. No more hospice visits, man. They're literally murdering them for fun just because just they feel like it. I mean, might as well. You know, might as well. It's a good option. You know, you get a final meal and you get to listen to your favorite music a couple of hours before we do it. Let's do it. Come on.